Okay, so I'm in the car again. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be a pretty common theme. Hopefully it changes. Hopefully this isn't a common theme, but uh, I hope it does change. Um, but I wanted to give like a quick update and maybe give you guys some encouragement. Um, so today, as you guys know, I sprained my ankle. So I, I took three days off of work. Today was my last day off. I have to go back tomorrow, which is pretty crazy because my ankle is still sprained. And I, maybe like it's some, there's something else. I don't know. Hopefully not. Um, but my ankle's kind of been like twisting in a weird way. And it's like, I feel like something's a little bit off, but hopefully I'm, I'm just overthinking it because that would suck. Um, but I'm going back to work tomorrow. But for the past like three days, I've just been doing nothing in my apartment because I can't really do much. I, I did record a lot of videos on Monday, um, but that was really the only day I really did anything and I got really ahead on videos. A couple of them got blocked, but that's what happened. It's good when you get ahead on videos because even though videos get blocked, you can still post stuff. So it's been great. Um, but so yesterday and then today, I haven't done anything literally nothing besides just laying in bed um and yeah it's a it's a weird thing but today i guess i was just very very down i was really down today um not the whole day but specifically when it like got later in the day i just was like i literally was doing nothing like i did absolutely nothing today yet my day felt like it flew by so quickly. I don't know if you guys have ever gotten that feeling before. Um, Cause normally, like if you're doing nothing, like your day is supposed to go by like slowly, but this was a weird thing. It was like a, a really fast day for me and I can't even really remember what I did <laughs> besides like watch YouTube videos and stuff. Like I don't know where the heck my time went. Um, but eventually, you know, I was feeling really, really down. And then it was like 10 o'clock at night. Currently, it is 12.08 a.m. At like 10 o'clock, um, I was just like really down. I'm like, you know what? Let me just take a shower. Um, took a shower with the intent of leaving the apartment. Um, because I, I don't know. I was just like, I have to do something, even though it was late. Took a shower got out of my apartment, started playing uh, Justin Bieber's new album, Justice. Shout out Justin Bieber, you know how I feel about him. Um, <laughs> but I was really, really down. And just me getting out of the house, just listening to this music, just going on this drive, um, I feel good now. Like it kind of just reset my brain, it reset everything. Um, and I feel great. Um, and I guess like that's just gonna be my encouragement to you guys. It's like if you guys are feeling down, just take a look at your circumstance and and ask yourself why or like what am I unhappy about? Like what needs to change? Was I in bed watching YouTube all day or Netflix or or something like that? And, or are you unhappy with your current situation? Are you unhappy with maybe like your weight or um, certain habits that are just not healthy? Are you unhappy with those things? Um, and a lot of those things, like, they're habitual. So it's like, you just do them out of habit. And you might not even, like, think about, like, the repercussions of it. You're kind of just living life. But what if that is the root of your unhappiness? What if that is the root of your depression? You need to come to the realization that those things are the issues and you need to take the necessary steps to fix those habits and fix that way of living. Um, and it's very tough to do because it's so easy to fall into those habits. It's a comfort thing. You don't just do these habits because, I don't know, like they're fun or something. You're doing these things because it comforts you and it brings you some sort of like an escape, if that makes sense. But like I was just saying, you got to analyze your situation. Situ what did I just say? You got to analyze your situation and 
really kind of like look at it from a, a third person point of view. You have to sometimes take remove yourself from the situation. So look at it from a third person perspective um, and then try to make those changes. Um, and like I said, it's so it's so easy to get into like a negative headspace, especially for me. Like it's the easiest thing for me to do and to fall into. It's so, 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 so easy for me. And it sucks. And it sucks. But if you guys feel that I if you guys are feeling that way, I'm feeling that way. Like I know I'm not the only one, and I don't want you guys to feel like you're the only one who feels this way. Um and I guess like one part of it is it is hard it's a weird thing because like it's like sometimes you know you know what the problem is yet you still keep falling into that issue you still keep going back to that habit because you were like bored in a situation or or just anything you're just uncomfortable feeling anxious so you go back to that habit um just as an escape and it's just easy it's easy to do that what's hard is to break those things and to look for a change and to make that change but eventually if you keep just working at it you will get out of that darkness and that's my encouragement to you guys man um i was gonna put this on patreon but i think i'm gonna put this on my main channel because I think this is gonna, this is a good message for a lot of people, so, um, I love you guys a lot, um, I know it's different from my normal content, um, but yeah, stay tuned for, for future reactions to come, um, hope you guys have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys next time, peace out.